Duval bottles 2.6 million beers a day. I'm going to show you the entire process from start to finish. Let's go. Nice to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you, too. So what are we doing today? We're going to visit the brewery, man. It's the greatest brewery of the whole world. Yeah? Duval, welcome to the Devil's Lair. The Devil's Lair. That's what it means. Lair. Duval. Should that be a break? <laughs> well, it The Devil's Lair, right here. That's what Duval means. Woo! It's cold. Today we're gonna go explore the factory. We're gonna try some beers. My man here. Ready to go? Ready to go, man. Ready to go. Uh, can I first offer you a coffee? Maybe a coffee. Maybe before we start drinking the beers? We're gonna try a beer for breakfast. Liquid bread. I'm doing coffee, I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I need a, I need a white. This? this is the Vedette White. So this is a, a wheat beer. That's Actually, good. opens up your stomach. It opens up your stomach. There you go. Enjoy that. 10 a.m. Oh, it's very nice. Tell me, what do you think? Mm, nice light. It's just wheat beer. Wheat beer, yeah. And this is Vendette. It's another brand. Vendette, yeah. It's kind of like our premium pills. It's fantastic. Super light, refreshing, crisp. Crisp, that's it. Perfect. A little bit of herbs in there, like uh, coriander. You have some cardamom in there. That's what you're tasting. So Yellen's taking us on a tour. We're going to see the entire factory. We're going to see bottling. Bottling, you're gonna see the brewing hall, you're gonna see from A to Z, man, how we make it do this tour. Anybody can take this yeah. tour. And so we're, we're halfway, basically halfway between Antwerp and Brussels. Yes. We're at the halfway mark. Right Took us 30 time. minutes to get here. Yeah. And what's the name of the town? It's Brindong. My man, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. You know, I fast every day, but this is like bread, so. This is bread, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love everything they got here. Bonjour. Nice to meet you guys. Hi. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm good. David. Guys Pleasure, nice to meet you. Hi, David. Well, we're going to start off with an introduction movie. Um, so uh, this will show a little bit of the history of the place, a uh, little bit of the, yeah, the brewing process, let's say, and of course our four duvels, our main duvels. That was an amazing video. Wow, really well made shows the entire history and why Duvo is so special. Let's go, I'm excited. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh man, it was great. Yeah. It's so well put together, like, it's beautiful. All right, so everybody has to put this on so they know that we're on a tour. Let's go. Let's go on this tour. Very interesting. I didn't know this, but all these breweries are part of the Duville family. We have three from the States, Firestone Walker, Oma Gang, Boulevard Brewing. Then we have Belgian, Dutch. This is like a mix between partnerships and ownership, which is awesome. Now we're going to actually start the tour. That was the brief. Let's go. This is the gate to heaven, man. We're stepping in right now. And over here we have the four ingredients they used to make Duvel. Water, of course, this is 90% of your beers. Barley, huge for most beers in Belgium. Yeast, yeast is very secretive. It's a microorganism. The founding member of the company went over to Great Britain, Great Britain about 150 years ago and he found this strand and they're still using it to this day. And this is what makes each beer very special and breweries are very secretive with that. Hops. Hops is a flower, and the story goes that you know the English were sending beers over to India a long time ago, and then everything would go sour. So then they added hops and they made IPAs. Hops, really good. Let's go. Let's continue this tour. I want to see the bottling. Yeah, it, it smells like it's cousin. Of course, it smells like marijuana. No, it smells like marijuana, man. Marijuana. It's like, it's like no, that, that's chronic. That's chronic. <laughs> that's chronic. <laughs> yeah. it, it they is. are cousins. I talked about our sustainability program and how I get to that part because see here are our big water tanks. Yeah, uh, of course, water, water is the rarest commodity of the, of the whole world. Where are we going next? We're going into the brewing hall, what I like to call the Valhalla of beer. This is a... Valhalla. Skol, skol. Skol. Oh, wow. Massive. 
Look at this. The Valhalla of beer. This is where they make all the beer. It's actually the, 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 the barley being taken up to the silos upstairs. So that's the barley going through this pipe? Going through here. It's going up. Wow. It's, it's like um, like mine carriages taking it up. Taking it up. So there's silos up here. So each one of these tanks has a different purpose, like a boiler? Yeah. We have uh, three steps brewing here. So this is a mesh tank, which means this first step of brewing is uh, adding the malt together with the water and then heating it up in steps so we can get as much of the sugar out of the barley seeds that we have these malt seeds. Step one. Step two is of course filtering. We want to get all the barley out. We want to keep the, yeah, the brewing water, let's call it. And then three is boiling. Okay, that's what happens in here. Two mesh tanks, two lawler tanks, two boiling tanks. They're huge. They're huge, yeah. Uh, Can I dive in one? Well, you'll break your knees, but okay. <laughs> well, what happens in here, yeah, so we want to yeah, get as much of the sugar out. So this is what we're going to need to transform into CO2 and alcohol, yeah. This thing contains about 450 hectoliters, which is oh. about 136,000 bottles of diesel. So this is pure gold. If you want to try this? That's barley, right? That's barley. That's our malt. So down here. That is actually. Oh, I can try it? Yeah, yeah, of course. This is like a lot of granola. It contains. But I'm fasting, bro. I'm fasting. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It can taste the sweetness in there. Love it. So these, these seeds are full, full, filled with sugar, yeah? There's actually a big silo down here. But you have to dump, you have to, have to dump in all the barley and the, the sound you heard in the, in, in the brewing hall was it being taken up by these little mine carriages. Like in Snow White, the uh, little pepper crowns, they're taking it all up because we do gravitational brewing, so the silos with all the barley are upstairs, so we can let it drop down. This whole thing? This whole thing is How many kilos is this? Whew. It's a massive, I've never seen this, like, yeah. a tank that big. And we get about... 10 to 15 a day. 10 to 15 a day these. And we would take a sample from the upstairs because they know they have to wait 20 to 20 minutes here because we take a sample, we go to our lab, we test the quality and then we come back and if it's good, they can dump. If they, it's not, they can leave. Over here is where they make the beers and over here is where they ferment the beers. Each one of these contains 1 million beers and they have 64 of these on the property. Crazy. And over here we're going to see bottling. We're going to go into the link that now this is where you can see some rapid action perfect this is what i'm most excited for actually i'm ready to try all the beers all right here we go this is the fun part the bottling whoa it's like a million pipes that's where all beer is being transported to the bottling this is where you need your headset don't forget your headset So many beers, I don't know how much you can hear, so loud, beers everywhere. Maybe I should ask him how many beers I bottle daily. Look at this, bottling, whoa, incredible, 1.3 million bottles in each one of these, so you're talking about like 2.6 a day. 2.6 a day, yeah, 2.6, flying out these babies. Insanity. In this brewery, they bottle 2.6 million bottles a day. It's like insane. Wow. The sounds. That's so nuts, bro. Wow, look at this. Whoa. It pushes it on the labels like a machine gun. It goes like, ba -ba 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 -ba. it gets stuck on there. There's these rushes. It kind of smoothens it out. So you have a nice label on the bottle. Look at this thing fly. You can see it, how they stick it, you know. Wow. Wow. Crazy, bro. Wow, bro. This is the machine that bottles 55,000 beers an hour, 24 hours a day, non-stop. From here, beer is inserted to the bottle, then it goes through this entire process. It's cleaned, labeled, and at the final station, it'll be packaged and then shipped. And if you see the floor, that's beer. Because the high pressure, it's like, one second it, it's bottled and then after the cap goes on right away, crazy. All this is beer. Sorry, Duvel. I would take this home with me if I could. It's amazing. How many beers? 
I've never seen a factory this large. I've been to so many different breweries, but nothing like this. 2.6 million beers every single day. Imagine times 365. That's crazy. Oh, this is it. Look at this. Wow. No, no, it's perfect magic. Cardboard box. It has a dozen. Closes super easily. And then the, the tape, and then up, and then out. I can imagine people coming here going like, whoa, well, I'm here five years now. So often for me, this is like lovely in my garden. It's like, yeah. yeah. So I'm curious for someone to work here. Because you have to trust them, right? Not to give oh. away the recipe. Do they yeah. go through a background check or something? Well, not everybody. Well, there's only two people in the whole world that know their actual recipe. They wow. tell different, like, let's say, particles or parts of the process to some people. We don't tell them all. Wow. Like, even me. Right. I know a lot about diesel. I cannot make a diesel myself. Wow. Yeah, yeah makes sense. These are our fermenting rooms, our fermentation rooms, actually. This is where the diesel ages. When the duvel rests. Wow. Now, like every time I'm gonna try a beer, I'm gonna be a bit snob, you know? Oh, like if this how it's been done, you know? <laughs> so you can steal the temperature in here, it's nice and warm. This is where all the fermenting, the second fermenting is being done. So first fermenting is in the tank, second fermenting is in bottles. Yes, it is. Second fermenting, so now, the extra yeast, the extra sugar is being turned into alcohol, so we get a 0.5 ABV extra. And then I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the whole room. <laughs> Drink this beer. <laughs> Millions of beers. Millions of beers, right? Millions. Oh my gosh, so how long does it stay in here fermenting? Uh, for two weeks, actually. For Only two, two weeks. weeks? Yeah, in warm rooms, two weeks, and then afterwards, another six in cold rooms. And how many countries do you guys distribute to? I think we're about 68 right now. 60 to 70 countries right about. So 60 plus countries enjoy Duvel. I think another 60 need it. Of course. <laughs> of course, this is They're so good. To. They're welcome to. Let's take, hold on, let me, let me like see if it's for real. Yeah, I'm not in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> if you come here, you can't see this. I'm showing you this exclusively on David's Been Here. That was an awesome experience going through the bottling plant. Now we're going over to the tap room and we're gonna try a bunch of beers. That's what I've been waiting for the whole time. Whoa, kegs. You know what it's called? This is a half keg. Duvel, Morkat. Woo! Nuts. You may be wondering, why did they put a Scottish guy that plays the bagpipes? Well, because the yeast comes from Scotland. Lager. Oh, wow. So what he's saying is that here in Belgium, they tax heavily on alcohol. So even if you want to do, make a test beer, they will tax you. So that's why they created this microbrewery, so they can test beers, make unique beers, and not get taxed so heavily. But because if not, you're doing a huge batch. This is amazing. Okay, so now let's go to the tap room and try some beers that are made here. You can only try them here at Duvel. So this tour is uh, three times a day, Monday through Friday, costs around 12 euros, which is basically a marketing tool because you get two beers, plus you get a gift, so it's almost free. Now, how we want our duvel to be served, because right? there's a lot of yeah, little details to, to walk, watch out for. So I'll give you guys the pouring ritual now. That's a sigh of relief, yeah? That's actually your beer saying, talking to you and saying, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah? If you don't hear this, I never say throw it away, I use it in the kitchen. But if you don't hear this, it means air has touched your beer, CO2 has exited the beer, so it's flat and it's not going to be as, yeah, flavorsome as it is when it has the CO2 in there, yeah? When we pour our beer, we keep it at a 45 degree angle and we never touch our glass with our bottle, yeah? Why not? Because this bottle has been sitting outside for a while, so there's bacteria sitting on the, on, on, on the outside. Inside we know what's going on, yeah? Outside we don't know. So we never touch the glass with our bottle. Now, we set up right our duvel glass, and if you want to go higher or lower, you can build your head on your beer. And this is what we get up. This is the result, yeah? This is the nice tornado in the middle, nice clear beer, like I said, because we did. So this is our duvel 666. This is actually our celebration beer for our 150 years of brewing. 6.66, why? Because it's the number of the beast. So it's my turn to pour beer. Let's see if I learned. 
how to do this. Easy, and then never touch the glass. That's slow. So now you set up right, you set your glass up right, and you let it hit the middle of the bit. For the tornado? Yeah. That's excellent. And then I leave a little bit at the end, and I give it the extra yeast, right? Yeah. You go a little bit higher with your hand. Make it more tornado? Yeah. Stop now. Okay. So do you see, see a tornado down there? That's excellent. You're a natural, man. And then at the very end, Right? Yeah, very you end. have to swirl. swirl. Actually, you have to ask the customer, like, do you want the yeast, yes, yes or no? Do you want the yeast? Because I'll take the yeast alone. <laughs> Just like yeah, that, makes it extra see. flavor. A wow. Nice Clyde dropping in there. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So I did well? You did excellent, David. Actually. Thank you very much. Well, I got a job now. If you're looking for a job, <laughs> welcome in my bar. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, my turn. And this is for me. I love the glasses. So open the beer. And then we're going like this. It says slow. And then once we get to a certain level, I'll get to the center. And then going and I've never seen this by the way. This is I feel like it's only you guys. I've never seen it done like this. I've been to so many breweries. So go slow. Slow for the yeast. And then Oh, and then I have to cut it. So cut like this. Right? I think I did okay. Sorry, I went a little overboard no, no, there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wash it. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, I shouldn't touch. Never yeah. touch. Never touch. Yeah. So he was saying if, if a bartender ever grabs a glass from the top, give it back. Yeah, because this is actually the, the space where you drink, where you put your mouth. So never touch it like this. So cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. cheers. So how do we say cheers in Dutch? Or in there's, French. There's a lot. There's like 20 prost, but that's like, kind of like. Prost, go. Yeah, santé. Santé. Santé is like in good health. Eh? Mm -hmm. Gezondheid. Gezondheid. Oh, uh, gezondheid. Gezondheid, yeah. <laughs> in Belgium, we say a lot of different stuff. Oh, that's great. But also, we go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. See, I start cutting that for my food. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I'm like, good. Good. Delicious. Delicious. Oh my gosh. What a tasty beer. Cheers. Duvel? Duvel? Cheers, man. Cheers. Wow. The next one I have for you, actually made here, microbrewery we just stepped into. Can only try it here. It's in the testing phase, but I'm thinking we're right on track. So, nice and blonde wheat beer. Hazy hey, one because we haven't filtered it because of the flavor, and we added roasted pineapple seeds. Try this. Special beer. What is this, man? This fruit. that's not magical. There's fruits in here. I love the head. Once you get through the head, you get that, like, it's like a mix of citrusy, I don't know if it's raspberry, strawberry, I have no idea. Fruits. Yeah, take another guess. It's more, more tropic. There's no BS in this one. There's no BS in that one. Chocolate, roasted, you said. Roasted pineapple. Roasted pineapple? Well, this is nuclear. How much percentage? Seven ABV. You can have a, quite a lot of them before you pass out. <laughs> Only in Belgium. <laughs>